Thanks a lot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now the serious part of the show. How many of you have ever seen the trick where the magician walks out on stage, beautiful black suit, yellow tie, little bit of an afro, and does a trick like this? He reaches into his pocket and takes out a piece of common everyday rope you can find in any bedroom in Washington, D.C. <laughs> then what the magician does is take out a pair of skizzers. <laughs> yes, skizzers. I'll tell the jokes. You want to tell jokes, you get your own. Shoot. Okay. Then what the magician does is he takes the rope and he doubles it in half. Have you ever seen this trick? Mm -hmm. This is really awesome. And then the magician takes the skizzers and cuts the rope exactly in half. He then puts the bigger half in front of the smaller half, doubles them up again, and cuts them into fours. And then, if you get a really good magician, they take and they double them up again, and they cut them into eights. And then, if you get a really good magician, like a Bill Malone kind of guy, they double them up again, and they cut them into... Sixteen. Well, they just cut them here, which is good. They don't, they don't waste time with any of the math. Just cut right through like butter. Then what the magician does is he takes all the little smidgelies up at the top and pokes them down into his fist, leaving just one little smidgely hang out the top. Then they take all the little smidgelies at the bottom, poke them up into their fist, leaving just one and only one hang out the bottom. Then what they do is they take the scissors, wave it over the rope, and just that fast, they end up with one long piece. Just exactly how they do it, I don't know. But I mean, the guy goes like this, and the whole rope is like, it's like all back together. Oh, man. Hey, Lewis, you gotta get that guy, man. I got him in my Rolodex. Look at him, love him. He's awesome. He really is. Bill Malone. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Do you mind if I see? If I have a seat with you? Thank you very much. Good to see everybody. You know, I was wondering, uh, I was wondering a couple things. First, I was wondering, what the heck am I going to do for this crowd? You guys have seen every magician in the world. A lot of you have been here before. So how can I impress you? So the answer came to me. On the way here, I was in the airplane, and that seat pocket in front of me, you know how they have the airplane magazine? Well, in the back, they had a map of the United States. So on the way here, I took the liberty of memorizing every state in the United States. Every, I'm sorry, not only the state, even more. I remembered the capital of every state in the country. So now for your entertainment pleasure, I will try to let you stump me. Somebody yell a state. Missouri. Capital M. <laughs> You really are. You are about 20 years younger. Woo, baby! Oh, all right, okay, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, um, I. You're leaving a puddle. Can we get? Can we get a towel, please? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to frighten you, but every deck of cards made in the United States of America has four cards that are very, very scary cards. Now, if you play cards, you may have ran across them. You may have not known what they were, but I will tell you, there's four cannibals in every deck of cards. That's right. Look, I'll show them to you. And it's really, I don't know why you didn't notice them, because the K stands for cannibal. <laughs> so these are the four cannibal cards. Don't be afraid, Tamara. If I have to, I will hold you. <laughs> and I'll have to. All right, okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, these are the four cannibals. I'll introduce you one at a time. That's cannibal one, cannibal two, they're in order, cannibal three, and cannibal four. Now, you don't have to worry. The cannibals don't eat people. They eat other playing cards. I'll show you. Look. We'll feed a victim to the cannibals, and we'll tell them to eat. You can hear their bones munching. And now if we look... The cannibals have eight, their first victim. I'll do it again. Please settle down. The next victim goes in. You can hear that crunching sound. 
just like before, and now they have eaten two victims. I can do this all day, and I will. <laughs> we'll put it in, put it in just to squeeze, and the cannibals are slowly eating their victims. And I'm not kidding, they really are. These are just four cards. They really are eating their victims. I'll put another victim and a cannibal, another victim and a cannibal, and another victim and a cannibal. As you can see, the victims are between the cannibals. We just tell them to eat. And again, these cannibals have devoured <laughs> wow. those twenty Now, no, 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 please, no. Please, they can bite me. Easy, you're going to excite them, they will bite me. They are still hungry. <laughs> so am I. All right, so we will feed the cannibals one more victim. Ladies and gentlemen, I will show you the next victim. The next victim may appear to be the Ten of Clubs to you and I, but this is a prime rib dinner for the cannibals. Mm -hmm. So what we will do is we will take the one, the two, the three, the four cannibals and the ten of clubs and the cannibal, oh wait a minute, it's okay. The cannibals are gone, the ten of clubs got away, cannibals never to be seen or heard from again. <laughs> Unless, of course, you went like this, and then they'd be back. But they're only back because they are going to do another trick for you, okay? I'm going to go into the next trick. Normally, I would stop at this point and kind of start over and do another trick. But, you know, you people are beautiful, wonderful people. It's kind of like looking over a field of flowers. <laughs> There's a few weeds here and there, but I will <laughs> What I will do is I will do another trick with the cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm not wearing nothing. <laughs> Four. Oh Don't call me God. Call me Bill. Just say, oh my Bill. Oh my Bill. Tonight, one of you will betray me. No. <laughs> Sorry. Scene from a movie. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen, please, why are we fighting? <laughs> you've seen magicians do card tricks before, but you, have you ever seen a joke and card trick combined? That's what I ask you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a joke and a card trick at the same time. We have one, two, three, four kings, which I'll get back to in a moment. And besides the four kings, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, should be twelve. Sorry, they stuck together. Twelve <laughs> cards to represent a country for the four gentlemen. Okay? So these three cards here will represent a country. This will represent a country. This is all going to make sense to you in a minute. And this will represent a country. Now, this is the joke. Okay? There's four guys stranded on a desert island. Okay? And the first guy was from Germany. He was a German. He found a genie, and the genie granted him one wish. He says, you know, I'm tired of being on this island. I want to go back home to Germany. And the genie granted the next guy, the Italian, a wish. He said, I want to go back to Italy. And the third guy was from Russia. He says, I miss my family. I want to go home. The last guy was from Poland. And he says, you know what? I'm kind of lonely. I wish my friends were back. And the genie snapped his <laughs> I'm getting that strange feeling of deja vu, like I've been here before. Would you do, do, do me a favor, okay? Kimberly, would you switch places with the gentleman right here just for a moment? Sure. I don't mean by magic, I mean physically oh, yeah. you know, move around. Sure. Oh, sorry. Okay? <laughs> don't worry about it, hey. Just move over. Because I've noticed, uh, and I don't know if the rest of you saw this too, but this gentleman here has been giving eyes to Kimberly. <laughs> Did you guys notice that? Did you I see that? You saw it. Did you tell me? You're, you're, you're kind of sensitive, yeah. No. So what I'm going to do, now first of all, do you two know each other at all? No. no. Your first time meeting? Yes. First time meeting, okay. And your name was again? Jean. Jean, still is? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jean, 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 let's pretend it's Good Friday. Okay. Okay. You're, uh, your wife's in the <clears throat> hospital. She's having a baby. Okay. You go out to the bar. You're going to have a few drinks and few drinks and you sit down you're getting comfortable and all of a sudden Kimberly walks in right she sits down next to you you're getting kind of buzzed now okay and uh, she says do you want to fool around now be honest with me what do you think <laughs> be nice <laughs> you think maybe, maybe so yeah a couple of drinks sure I know come on what do you want of course he would he has all right and, and uh, Kimberly, Kimberly, how about you? Let's say you're at the bar, you sit down next to the tough guy here. And, you know, he's looking good. Do you, you know if there are a few uh, penis coladas? You know, you're, you're having a good time. Would you uh, So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give each of you a sex test, okay? This is a compatibility test to see, just to see if you'd be compatible with each other. 
Don't worry, you can go back to your wives or husbands or boyfriends later, but let's just see what would have happened, okay? Do me a favor, both of you hold hands right here on the, on the table there. Hold hands, don't be afraid, sir, okay? Now, this is called my sex tester, okay? Very nice. It's actually a Polish babushka, but... <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going to take the sexiest parts from each of your bodies, put them in here, and give them a little time to get to know each other. Wow. I'll start with you, sir. Do me a favor, bend your head down low. <laughs> oh, construction worker, huh? <laughs> okay, you move. Nothing in the world breeds better than cooties. This is a sex <laughs> I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. Oh, get over here. Get over. Stay, Tamara, watch him. Oh, watch him. Don't I let him get away. Stay. Right. Let me give him a mute and bend down. There you go, okay? I'm going to take yours and I'm going to put it right next to his. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover them up and give them just a little time to get to know each other. Now I don't know if you two or any of you are familiar with parts and what they do, but sometimes if you leave them alone too... Oh my God! Oh my God! I think they... Oh, I think they like each other! Oh my God! Hold on, hold on! Kimberly's on top! Hold on here! We'll take yours out. I'm so sorry. Sir, we'll leave yours in there just for a little second. We'll leave yours in there just for a second. I'll cover him up. Kimberly, would you do me a favor? Would you take your hand and rub his on the belly real lightly? Right there. Real lightly, real lightly. No, no, I said the belly. I'm sorry. Give them both a big round of applause. Thank you. And thank you. My name is Bill Malone. Here I go again. Um, what a great crowd. I am so happy they chose you. You don't have weapons, do you? You got a couple. All right, all right. Now, please, stop it. Stop it, please. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been such a group for me, and I really do appreciate you coming out. I know I've said that before. I'll keep saying that because they're paying me by the hour pretty much. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make all of you into magicians. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Would you like to learn how to do a trick, sir? Yes, I would. Okay. Yeah. It's very easy. All right? I'll teach you a card trick. First of all, what you need is a regular deck of cards. You can buy those pretty much anywhere. Okay. Mine are bought at the trick shop. I pay like 500 bucks, but um, you can get them at Walgreens a lot cheaper than that. All right? So what you do, um, I'll show you how it works. What you do is you start off, and you can try this when you go home. You take any card, like I used the seven of clubs. You take the seven of clubs, give it a little rub and a riffle, and you get an ace. Okay? And you can do this. It's very easy to do. I'll show you again. Look. Let me get another card. Let's get a good one. We'll use the jack of spades. Watch close. All I do is rub and riffle, and you get an ace. No. Okay? okay. No, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's use this one. Two of clubs. Come on. Give it a try. Just rub it in a circle. Turn it over. Take a look. Did you get it's it? Really awesome. Oh, very good. Good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, right. One to go. I'll do the last one. Watch. We'll take the two of clubs. You ready? All you do is just go in a clockwise circle. Never go this way. Always go oh, this way. You know way. why? Because then it'll go. You never want it to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, goes, it goes all the way through. Oh, yes! show you one of the first tricks I ever saw that got me into magic, okay? And it was by a magician and by somebody you even heard of. But it's not your typical magician like Harry Houdini or David Copperfield or Murdo Funsky. This was by a magician who all of you have heard of, like I said, but he didn't just do magic for a living, he also did comedy. And his name was Johnny Carson. How many of you remember Johnny Carson? <laughs> Your younger girls could have been his wives, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, Johnny Carson was my hero, and uh, way back, and I think it was the early 70s, I watched Johnny Carson do two magic tricks on television. He really was a good magician. He really practiced, and he really did great magic. So on this particular day, I was a young kid, and I was watching TV, and he did this trick, and I never forgot it. So it became my favorite trick, so I'm going to show it to you, and uh, hopefully I'll do it justice, okay? Now, normally, I would have these cards signed by you, but we don't have that much time because Lewis is, like, complaining. He wants to, you know, get this over with, pretty much. <laughs> so what we're going to use is we're going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. But I don't want you to think that they're just the cards that I'm giving you. That's important. So first, shuffle them up. Mix them up real good. Okay, that's good enough. Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead. And then cut them too. Give them a cut. And then deal down 10 cards. Because I'd rather have you choose the cards than me choose the cards. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Thank you. Nobody has ever done it that well. Give my friend a big <laughs> okay. 
Now this, this is the trick that he did. I'm going to show you the 10 cards. If you can remember a couple cards, it doesn't really make any difference. But this is the trick he did on television, okay? He started off by saying that he was going to make these 10 cards disappear and end up into his pants pocket. And the way he was going to do it is what really amazed me. The cards were going to fly up his sleeve, across his chest, down the other sleeve, and then reappear over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> reappear over here in his pocket. So tonight I'm going to try that, ladies and gentlemen, the cards to pocket. Here's what we do. We just give a click and a pull, and when we do that, the first card, card number one, goes to the pocket. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll do it again. All It's all done with just a click. All you do is you take the cards, you click, and then you just listen for the sound, and when you do that, you get the card in your pocket. That's card number two. Now, wait a minute. If two cards actually appeared in my pocket, that would leave how many left? Eight, eight right? Eight. So this is the time where most magicians would show you and count the cards as eight cards, but you guys, we've been together for the last three days. You trust me. I know I don't have to do that, so I'll just continue on. Look, just a snap up the sleeve, cross my broad shoulders, down the other sleeve, and over here into the pocket, that's card number three. Okay? So if three are gone, that leaves seven. This time I really will show them to you. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards left. Watch, I'll do two this time. Make it twice as snappy, and over here in the pocket, two cards. So again, thank you very much. If that really did happen, that would leave a total of five cards left. And if you're paying attention, you can, you can see what they are. The next card goes to hard way. Watch, all I do is make that sound, and the next card, card number six, I'm sorry, I, I made the wrong sound. That card took a detour and went to this pocket. <laughs> that leaves one, two, three, four left, just a snap, and another one goes. And that leaves one, two, three, just a snap, and another one goes. And that leaves exactly two cards left. Frank, which card would you like to make go Jack next? Cards. I will make the Jack of Hearts disappear. Watch, just a snap. And there it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jack of Hearts is gone. I'm sorry. Wrong card. That's better. Jack of Hearts is gone. <laughs> 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 of all, the Nine of Diamonds, just a little squeeze, not here, not here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all ten cards. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Tell you what, you know, most magicians, whenever they do card tricks, what do they do? They have you pick a card, put it back, here it is, right? Big deal. Everybody, it always seems like the same trick. And most magicians, they use some kind of sleight of hand or some kind of fast maneuvers to find your cards. So I'm going to try something different tonight. I'm going to have a couple cards chosen by a couple of you. And I'm going to try to find the cards without ever once even touching the cards, okay, without looking. And believe me, if this works, I'll be impressed because I, I've never done this before. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, what I have is a regular deck of cards. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start off, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to let Frank help me. Frank, would you mind giving me a hand with this? What I would like you to do, sir, is just at any time you want, just kind of reach over here and cut off a packet of cards, make it less than half, mm -hmm. then look at the bottom card, remember what it is, and give them a shuffle, okay? All right? And then just hold on to them, okay? Go ahead, just do it. I'm going to turn away when you do that. Just look at the bottom card, remember it, and shuffle them up. Okay. Did you shuffle them up? Yeah. Okay. Now, you have to agree, there's no way I can know that card. Right. There really right. isn't, believe me. And uh, would you do me a favor, sir? Would you do the same thing he did? Cut off a packet of cards. Okay. Double <clears throat> Go ahead, just cut off a packet. And take the bottom card and put it in your pocket. Try not to look at it. If, if, you, if you can't help but to see it, that's okay. But put the bottom card in your pocket. Keep the rest of the cards in your hand. Okay. Okay? Now, that's pretty fair, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'm going to do. There's some cards left. There's no way I could have known how many cards exactly are left. If I could take these cards and tell you the exact amount that was left, that would be a pretty good trick, yeah. without counting them. Yeah. It really would be a great trick. Yeah. So do me a favor, would you hold those just for a second, and just kind of put them on the palm of your hand. Let me just kind of weigh them for a second. Um, I'm getting there's, uh, boy, that, that's a lot of cards. I'm getting there's exactly 34. Would you do me a favor, count those cards out loud under the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Exactly. next you took a card and you just you put it in your pocket yes. I wasn't looking I was over here when you did it um, do me a favor just hold those cards flat on your hand and bring your hands over here I'm gonna try to guess your card your card, uh, black no it was red no it was club <laughs> no it was oh no wonder oh no I don't know it's not even in there I forgot so just concentrate I'm, I'm seeing a red card a very high card I believe it's the ace of diamonds take out the card show everybody please no way. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You be afraid. <laughs> Frank, in the very beginning, you cut off some cards. You shuffled them up. You right. took a card. You even shuffled them. You don't even know the exact order right now, do you? No. Do me a favor. I'm going to look away. When I look away, fan out the cards like a poker hand and point them towards me. I'm going to turn around real quick and I'm going to try to memorize every card in your hand, okay? And I'm going to try to do it quickly. So just fan out the cards towards me. Okay, and let me know when you have them fanned out. Make sure every card is showing. That's important. Other way. Okay? <laughs> All the way. Make sure every card is showing. Other Very way. important. Otherwise, I will jump over there, sir, and you will be hurt. Okay? All right, you got it? Thanks, Frank. Let me know when I can look. Can I look? No, I do want to see him. Point him towards me. Are right, you ready, Frank? Spread them all out. Here we go. Okay. I have a funny feeling they're not spread out. Okay. Can we get a doctor? Is there a doctor in the house? Is there a doctor? We need a doctor. Okay, that's better. You got them spread out, Frank? All right, I'm going to look. I'm going to give one quick glance. Got it. Close them up. Whoa. I got every single one of them, I believe. Shuffle them. Give them a shuffle. Um, spread them out so you can see them now. Spread them out towards you. And as soon spread them out towards you. So you're, you're looking at them. And hand me that jack of spade that I see right away. Give me the jack of spade. And I believe there's a five of clubs that was right next to it. You can hand me that one. After your shuffle, it really was right next to it. Give me the king of clubs. That's important. Thank you very much. Give me the two of hearts. And I think if you've sent me the nine of spade. And I think we have a, how many we got left? Two left. Uh, give me the, um, Let's see, give me the ace of spade, and that card that's left, that's the three of hearts, that's the card you chose in the beginning, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Bill Monroe! Bill Monroe! Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Bill Monroe. Good night. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm very proud. I won an award in magic. I don't know if you heard about it, and uh, it's all over the internet. It's all over the news. I won second place in a magic contest. Everybody else was tied for first, but <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy. And what I did, I brought along the trick that I won the award for. Would you guys like to see it? Yeah. yeah. This is. I think you're really gonna like this. I couldn't believe I won the award, but this is what I won it for. It's a famous trick, and it's called the comeback jack trick. Huh? You guys excited? All right. So we have four red cards and the jack of clubs. We start off by taking the jack of clubs and putting it into the glass like this. Then we just say the magic words. Uh, before we say the magic words, though, we just leave the four red cards here. Then we say the magic words, come back, jack. And when we do that, the jack comes back. Ta-da! Okay, thank you. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. That's that's not all I won the award for. It gets better. Look, see the jack goes into the glass. You put the jack in the glass, and that leaves just the three red cards over here. Just the three red cards. It's not till you say "Come back, Jack," that that jack will actually come back. Ta-da! Yeah, I'll do it. No, no, no. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, boy, those judges had to be idiots. So we'll put the <laughs> jack back in the glass, and that leaves us with just two red cards this time. Just two red cards. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, I forgot to put the jack in the glass, that's important. Okay, that leaves us with just one red card, and all we do is a little rub, and the jack comes back. Oh. And, and now, I know what you're thinking, the judges can't give you that by, you know, by that alone. So what I did was I actually brought along, if you look, a picture of me holding the trophy. And if you look even closer, here's me with the trophy. Oh.